productions and we are getting ready for some more witchers so we are snowed in here in manitoba so we hope you guys can spend the time come out help support us getting to our goal of uh, becoming uh, affiliated with twitch we are getting ever so closer we are still sitting at 2.6 average viewers we're looking to get to three so thanks again everybody for tuning in uh for those who tuned in yesterday or saw uh my video from yesterday we are about to fight this asshole who is very good but after doing a diligent you know three minutes worth of speed reading on google i think i got a way to kill him so uh let's see if uh, this all works out and thanks again for tuning in to Angry Gorgie Productions. Hey buddy, yeah, I'm doing, uh, we're back at the grind. I kind of figured out how to do it. I just got to get her done now. So I apologize if I don't talk for the next little bit here. But appreciate you stopping by.
Mano. Thanks everybody for tuning in to Angry Corky Productions. My name is Dan and I am in the thick of it. So I apologize if I don't say anything for a little bit here. We appreciate you guys coming by and supporting us on our goal to get affiliated with Twitch. We are 0.4 average viewers per stream away from achieving this goal. So we thank you all very, very much. Okay, so that we can make a move. Seems to be getting angry now. Fuck, I almost respect this guy too much to kill him now. Two, three, run. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat my shorts, good sir. Eat my shorts. Ah! Shit.
attack you better from the other side. Oh! Stop moving on that last one. Stick him like a fucking pig. I like this guy too much, so I don't want to kill him. Thanks everybody who just tuned into that. That was me taking him to school. Make this snow day, but classes are in session here on the couch. Thanks everybody for tuning in. My name is Dan. We are joined by Lady Dragon. Oh, fuck. One of the last respectable men in over in Skellige. I can appreciate that. So good start. This guy knows it. Good well man. Struck, good man. You win. Oh, is he gonna put his head back on? But perhaps you'd care to tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. Wanted. <laughs> Fuck! I just has dispensed him for the bloodshed. <laughs> well, well. The Witcher with the heart of gold. Unsavory as it seems, there is a silver line. At least you now know I don't easily lose my head. Release him. <laughs> Getting off cheap. Head. This game's just too fucking smart for me. Didn't see that coming. Hey, I'm Mercedes. Thanks for popping in and following us. We really appreciate everybody tuning into Angry Corgi Productions. I'm Dan, this is The Witcher 3, and we are going to plug through show. for another four right. hours or so. so stay tuned, and thanks now. for supporting us. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. They say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. Yep. For there are consequences. Not sure I follow. You know very little can hurt you. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all. It all seemed boring and monotonous. The tricks to plow through that moment. Go further. Reach beyond what's known as possible. You know what this is? I cannot be certain. But I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If it had left for the child, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gauntor or did. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion. 
Geralt of Rivia. Not so fast. Haven't agreed to anything yet. But you'll do it. Of that I'm certain. Did you know Orgird was the one to turn the Ophiri Prince into a toad? Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. Olgierd once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Olgierd grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer, and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. I feel like we should have just chopped his head off. Cool. Where to? The stables. I guess that didn't work last time I tried doing it, so not. maybe I should just shut the fuck up. What he said about the prince. That true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Ephiri Dofa is something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollowed the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. This thing between you and Master Mirror your quarrel. Really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him till you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved. While I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bossoni. His house. No surprise. Right. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch. Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw. Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rival Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him, and show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then, we shall speak of the third. Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I have no intention to make things easier for you. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. The brother shouldn't be too hard. But the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. 
You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgird's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring in that. Hmm. The only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenford. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Olgird's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. Necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Besides, I'd need the blood of the summoned. Blood? True. Of the summoned? Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von every blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. Alright, well, uh, yeah. I guess we got our day set out for us, so thanks again everybody for tuning in to Angry Corgi Productions. My name is Dan, we are joined by Lady Dragon, and we're about to do a bunch of bullshit. So, uh, yeah, let's go pitter-patter, let's get at her. I don't know if I should check in the mansion. It's still on fire. Alright, Lots to do, lots to do. Now what do I need to do, need to do? Okay, what we can do is go find some of the stash and shit. And my fast travel is here. There's a spot over here somewhere. And hopefully everybody's having a good Tuesday and or Wednesday, I guess, depending where you are in the world. We are snowed in here in Manitoba. We're dealing with it. You know, just another, just another Tuesday. So, you get used to it. But uh, let's go drop some stuff off at the stash point. And uh, we'll get on with our paying back favors. Got a snake's tail as well. Mm. 
35. Level 35. Level 35. Holy shit, 11 pounds. Well, that explains why I picked up so much weight so quick. I thought I was just getting a little chonky. sell some shit. I have a feeling, like he said, I'm gonna need money. So, maybe I should bring some of that. Let's see how much crap I can carry. Hey, thanks for the lurk, Lupine. Appreciate it. Alright, well, let's make our way. Let's go see what he's got for money, because it's not going to make too much difference if he can't afford it. But uh, the go or the, um, the Tory over here tends to have enough money. I think I am still in the regular Witcher game. Uh, I'm using someone else's PlayStation. Well, I, I don't. Well, I used. Uh, I downloaded the complete version, but I think this is still a part of the main game. I haven't gotten to like the Blood and Wine or, or the Ice one yet. So, uh, as far as I know, anyways. So let's go over to our guy here. Come What's on, up, Roach? Beware, for you know neither the day nor the trouble. Come live out of it. Greetings, IPA. Yeah, well, we can check Greetings, out. I would, as I'm far as I know, it's part of the, 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 the main mission, but uh, <laughs> I'm definitely the wrong person to be asking. But all right, let's take a look. I need to craft some shit. Offer? I need to sell some shit. He has hopefully a couple thousand. Oh, yeah, he's got money to buy. He's got money to buy. Well, as long as one of us knows where we're at, because I'm, I, I, I live quest by quest, my friend. I'm at that point. All right. Uh, so okay, so I pawned some shit off. Twelve thousand should be enough to pay for whatever these fucking people are gonna get me to pay for. I don't really need to dismantle. I don't think I do need to. I'm alright with those. That's fine. Repair some shit. All right. So let's, uh, I'll come back. I don't so think long. I really need too much else going on. Now, let's upgrade our shit. I think he's got a, does he not have a grind wheel here? 
Oh, there was one. Oh, yeah, I guess it's behind him. Behind the guy with the sharp knife. Okay, no armor. No. Alright, well. Honor in the fatherland. Alright, buddy, stop. Stop reading the posters. Let's go. <sighs> Move it. All right. So we, we got some money. Well, We've lightened that. ourselves up a little bit. Now we're gonna go fast travel. Find Shawnee and figure out what we're gonna do here. You choke to death. Could you imagine? What's the next form of a roach? <laughs> it becomes a ponita. All right, so we are gonna go to. Oh, all right. Well, we're not too far off. I don't think it really matters which one I get into. You know, roach is just gonna continue to surprise us every day. Um, I well, maybe roach turns into Mr. Ed. Have we ever thought of this? And I'm showing my age by referring to Mr. Ed. Uh, those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, please Google it. It was a wonderful fictional talking horse, Frappet or which I like that one, uh, from my childhood, well, pre to my childhood. I'm not that old, but it was on TV. It was a black and white show. It was a great time. I soon started to believe that every horse could talk. Why's that? Want us to plow you? Is that it? Doable, but you'll have to hide that mug in a sec. <laughs> Let the woman go. Then we can flirt. Look at that! Vagrant Mutt's giving us orders. Needs to know his place. Fuck him up. Alright. Since you're in for it. Yeah, that seemed to work very well for you guys. You all right? Fine. Truth be told, I'd have managed on my own, but thank you. Fuck it, I don't even have time right. to fuck with you. Be careful now. Won't always be someone there to protect you. I know. I didn't come to Novigrad on yesterday's hay cart. I don't got time for your shit. Uh. All right, so let's go. Let's go see our friend. Ooh. But first, we have to rob her. Now we can go talk to her. What? Yeah. Like to use it. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A fox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The Amish don't got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you all right? What's that on your face? Long story. <coughs> New face statue, no big deal. Business. Me and Mike you Tyson were hanging out later. yesterday. We got him done. Uh, yes. Two for right. one deal. I'll but get I did to it work in his kitchen. Antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Interesting. 
curious to know, what do scholars look like to your mind? Uh, well, all that reading's hard on the eyes, right? So they wear spectacles. Oh, aye. Thick ones, propped on wrinkled noses, and their clothing frumpy. Thanks for the lurk, Stitch. Who've they got to dress up for? The books? Fascinating, really. But if I were you, I'd make sure no medic ever overhears you. Huh? Why's that? Because when you get cut in a battle, she might just refuse to stitch you back up. You're a lucky bastard, with you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it, sir? There's no denying her beauty, but she's not my type. <laughs> Talking out your ass, mate. Passing on quite the catch. She looked at me like she does you. I'd not dally long thinking. Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilf Guardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adirnian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Shani, I need your help this time. Hmm, I'd guess this wasn't the social call. All right. Tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah. And you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Okay. Where do I start? Hey, Malignancy, right. thanks for the lurk. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri Duchess. It's the truth. I'm colored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a mage showed up, captured me. A man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Frankly, I don't really know. He helped me out of a bind, and now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. A music ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. I'm gonna find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. A concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Huh. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs, or famous Redanian dynasties. I chose the latter. Of course you did. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estekin, Von Everek. Oh. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. And thanks again, everybody who is tuning in to Angry Corgi Productions. My name is Je Dan. 
I had to think about that one. Uh, we are joined by Lady Dragon and she is moderating for us tonight. So thank you, Lady Dragon. Or I guess not tonight, this afternoon. I got a little high before I started here, everybody. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be stumbling on some words. But I hope everybody is having what uh, today's Tuesday, right? Yeah, a great Tuesday. And if you are a part of this blizzard system here in North America, we hope that you're staying inside and you're being safe. Can't hold on. Can't All right, hold on where's my door? That guy's definitely got a kidney stone. I've heard those screams before. All right. Redania. Redania. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta accept the awkward. <laughs> Fuck it. Everybody ah. else is high and and gaming. Well, for the most part, I can't say everybody. But uh, but yeah, no, I don't know. I've been doing it for so long. I'm just so used to it. I am definitely what you would call a functional pothead. Oh, I keep forgetting that I've got a horse and fast travel. I really don't need to walk this like a schmuck. What's up, buddy? Drinking the wine. I love it. All right, where am I going? Oh. Uh, all right, so may as well just head up here. Wait, this is, no, this is gonna make me do a bunch of shit. We'll go this way. Run, Roach. Roach, you do what you want, man. Fuck you. Oh god. <laughs> so one day I'm just gonna set all these people on fire. Slow now. Whoa. Alright, so we're at north. We are going to a I don't know where oh holy shit. Alright, oh that's my closest spot. Let's go north. I can. We can take a cruise down. It's a nice day. Let Roach stretch his legs a little bit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right. So we are going the opposite direction in which I am traveling. Cool. You got to go around, you can kind of cook it. Come on now. You're good. <laughs> oh, what a great movie. Just wandering salesman anymore. Yeah, it's, it's a nice day. It's the exact opposite of uh, what we're seeing here in Manitoba. That away. How the fuck did she get there so quick? Or could we have not just hopped a boat together? Oh, yeah. See, now I got a fast transport there, of course. Let me see what I got going on over the here. The plague! Boss, the plague, the plague. Oh, that looks fancy. This guy's got an estate. Why does he need me to steal someone else's house? Who are these people?
We made her, guys. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in to Angry Corker Productions. I'm Dan. That's The Witcher 3. And we thank you for being awesome and Never following seen us. this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. Hey, buddy. What's up? Nimble hands you got there. I should hope so. I'm a surgeon. I think I prefer you using them this way. Less blood? More beauty. There's a beauty to surgery, I assure you. I know. Just out here, in this landscape, it does more oh, for the me puppies than have joined me. Room. Oh, right, Remember guys, to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. The tome was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah. Too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coins. They hit on hard times. They have all this shit. And they hit on hard times. Fuck. Sell a ceramic potter or two. Just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. I fight ghosts. That's if there's what any I do. trouble, just yell. This is no crypt. It's a full blown mausoleum. The key is required. My medallion is vibrating my controller. Ooh. Maybe I need to chop off his head with his own family's sword. Huh. Oh shit, yeah. That's money. Alright. What do we got here? Less, lesser stuff on there. Does it have to? What's the freeze? Son of a bitch. All right. I should have some wraith oil. I definitely should have meditated before doing this. Oh, maybe I don't have wraith oil. All right, let's go make some. All these spooky fellers. Oh, you know what? I think I've been looking for that recipe. I think that's been my problem. Oh, what else can I use? Doo -doo -doo -doo. And thanks again, everybody, for tuning into Angry Corgi Productions. My name is Dan. I'm looking for answers. Not that I probably couldn't do this without answers, but shit, while I'm here, may as well learn some stuff. 
So inspector. So does that mean I just need specter oil then? Good now, people. And Spectre oil. All right, let's do this. Sure hope so. Probably not. Should look around. Should meditate. Here we go. Now we look around. Specter dust. Stealing some jewels, gold plate, gold mug, probably make some gold armor without after, that'll never work because it's too heavy, but we appreciate the sentiment. Nothing else over here, eh? No, I'm good. I'm gonna pick up too much shit. Von Everek, son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are. Now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt, every room. Life and death, fire and blood. Return and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Not creepy at all. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Return and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise from the dust. Ye whose blood I have brought. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the voted fire. Is 
it's spooky, but not like spooky spooky. I think we've been in spookier places. Fire and blood, life and death. I summon ye whose blood I have brought. Fire yeah, and blood, that one was bad. Life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Go party in. Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are, and why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Uh. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is, how this mortal obtained the family's blood? For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge, only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will hey, be Kalos, thanks soon. for popping in. Yet all geared, you will never see again. Why is everybody so fucking aggressive in this family? Kill him, Von Everett. All right, so what's going on with, with these guys? All right, they're not fucking buddy. There is just swinging away. So, oh. Okay, well, fires apparently don't affect them the way I was hoping to. I so figure there's something right here. But he's gonna hit me with a blackjack. One at a time, one at a time. I got all day for you fuckers. Von Everick, brother to Olgird. <laughs> oh, for God, I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Didn't want to fight your family. They started it. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And Grandmum, too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Makes a lot of points. I do seem to like... I really like this family so far. Well, other than the old people, but the two brothers are alright. Now tell me how you came into Old Geard's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and Old Geard's. I'm here on business. I'm a swiving corpse. With no interest in important matters, yours or any other buckers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas. Mentioned you like to enjoy yourself. Well, just so happens that's why I'm here. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? E, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else, though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Don't mean to pry, but just a little curious how you died. Bah! No need to be shy. Folk love such stories. I'd love this one too, were it not to end with my death. So how did it happen? On raids, it was our custom to storm the alderman's hut, and then 
order the local clots to bring us kegs of spirit. And provide willing wenches to squeeze and churn about. Then, sadly, an ambush. Outmanned five to one, we were overwhelmed. They killed me, crushed my skull like an eggshell between an upturned oak table and the stone floor. Listen, feels like I should know all geared better. Tell me something about him. Oh, a fantastic chap, a true cavalier. You won't find another like him in all Redania. The best there is for a drink or a brawl. We were pups when we started riding out on raids. Wet behind the ears. Borderland villagers shat their trousers at the very sound of the word Olgeard. I was his second in command, leading a band of rogues who'd ride through fire for us. Sound like common bandits. Any difference? Us? Bandits? Watch your words. True, some of our swordsmen were mindless brawlers, but not Olgeard. Always curious, took an interest in all things. He devoured books, adored paintings, and loved the most beautiful maid in the world. Listen, Olgeard gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid. Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tanker to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. <laughs> I will go nowhere. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Hmm. Guess I could bring someone here, and you. You could... Are their body, just for the night? You wish me to possess someone? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Say I agree. Whose body would I inhabit? Dunno. One of Olgeard's men, maybe? Or a peasant who right? agreed to do it for coin? Oh, no, no, no. I shan't crawl into the skin of someone washed give him his body, bandit watch. or dung-eating swineherd. I have a better idea. Switch your body. Oh no, not gonna happen. Oh yes. Yes, it is. Geralt, wake up. Open your eyes. Where are the smiling salts? Death was a small price to pay to lie on a lap so lovely, and so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes, as soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. Yeah, just Geralt? a little bit of a What's bad, happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You're not have fainted and you're not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? 
Sorry about that, Shani. That wasn't me. So who was it? Me. Shut up. I didn't say anything. Sorry, wasn't talking to you. Who to, then? Well, to him. To Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. Leave Shani out of this. Ah, is that a name? Lovely. A perfect name for a perfect lass. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. <laughs> Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. Uh, what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right then, sugar plum. Let's say you we leave this dank crypt. There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. My sentiments exactly. Between you and me, this Witcher fellow is an awful bore. <laughs> Only sometimes. Ha! <laughs> Seems we're kindred spirits. So, off to the nearest hedgerow. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Uh, the Witcher's gonna you get see, the clap tonight. I have a friend who's getting married. She invited me to the wedding, but I need an escort. I had hoped that when Geralt saw me weaving the garland for the wedding, he'd invite me, but... Uh, well, I hoped wrong. <laughs> All is not lost, Pudding. I shall escort you. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everick. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick. Famed for his taste. Thanks for popping by, no name. We really appreciate it. Honestly, now, man to ghost. I have a great day at work, or as good of a day as you can have. Appreciate you popping by, and thanks to everybody else for popping by to Angry Corgi Productions. This is The Witcher 3. But if not, then. The haylofts we shall devastate together. We're just friends, always have been. Never professed your love. No heartfelt admissions, confessions. Never anything between Eat us. Eat my poop. You nice mean to say you never it? gripped those gorgeous... Ooh. Never cherished those beautiful names. Stunning. So, soft in the head or the loins. Excuse me. Ah, a pederast. Fine, if it's not your flavor, you needn't taste. All the better for me. I'll see she's properly satisfied. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward. I'll be right behind you. Humbly made. 
You're quite the fool if you've not plowed her yet. Keep your paws off her. I'm to enjoy myself. Can I help it that I best like tumbles in the hay with fleshy lasses? It does have a point. What's going on here? Oh. His actual body? Grave robber. Tried to crawl in through the well. Broke his neck. Meaning the scabby runt wished to rob our family crypt. I'm probably gonna go do that with this key now, so... through my ancestors' bones. On your way, leave the dead to rest in peace. <laughs> Are you a witcher or a scavenger? Hands oh, off the family A little bit of bull. Shut up. I do what I want. Oh, okay. So, there's spiders down here. <laughs> Fell that out the hard way. Alright. Probably gonna be a few more. But I'm gonna get to the point where I can't hold anything else. Yeah, I'm already over by quite a bit. So should I be stronger? No. That I can wear these puff pants. What else I can do? Just keep on keeping on. What else? Okay, and this is going to take us out to where we came in before already. There's no other... Oh, there's a little... 
a little Canuck back here. If it's anything I'm going to get through or even need to be in, oh, we'll get through her. I have stolen everything I can from these people. I can't get through you. So we'll call her a day. His family blind. We can keep going. This whole witch's life, what's it like? Don't want to know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. Witcher signs. Oh, Never good. done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight. What I would rather is what matters. What was all the stroke of midnight, eh? Let's go. Bloody fine mount. Good stance. Powerful rub. Stable withers. Well, well. See so you know your horses. I should say so. My two greatest passions in life. Mares and maidens. <laughs> Spooking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. I remember that mill. Whenever old gears got to mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once, we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaramir caught us. <laughs> ah, those were the days. Anything here I should find? Let's see. Probably not. But... I'm trying to loot, not, not light shit on fire. Alright. Probably nothing groundbreaking over there. Let's keep going up and see what we got. Oh, maybe we can't. Alright. Let's all go to the wedding and get possessed by a ghost. Gotta find me some work. Bye. Good grief. There's a monster nest there, buddy. I feel like I need to go deal with this. Do, do, do.
fucking knackers. Time to go burn down the nest. Knackers son is here. Dig their way out. And time to go. So what time we got? It's 6.53. We gotta get this guy to his wedding here. gave me a time but all I know is he's got me till the stroke of midnight so it's seven o'clock now he'll probably have it for the rest of the time here and we'll see no sign of her yet we need to wait This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? Oh no, we're not gonna steal. Come now, we're merely borrowing. <sighs> All right. It's not like you don't uh, have the money to pay for it. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. This does look pretty now, comfy. For shoes, one must wear shoes to a wedding. Don't do it. Mm, and we must be neat. Don't. Oh, he's gonna shave. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft, supple neck. And a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. You see? Geralt's been a pill, a nag. That all changes today. <laughs> Dramatically, I'd say. He's never been very talkative to start with. He's been a fool. But I shall make up for that now. Will you marry me? A big step, but I will think about it. For now, we should simply enjoy my friend's wedding. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment. Then you can jump right back in. Be quick. I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. 
All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned, a proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. Hey, Afli, thanks for popping by. <laughs> And thanks for the lurk, Joey Beware Shadows and Lupine. We appreciate it. Judging by the size of its house, the muck must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. What a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I'd do anything. I really don't think this guy's gonna give back the body. Come. Time to meet and be greeted. I do like following you. Time to say hello. Do that. Be nice now. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlo- uh, This is my friend of yesteryear. Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. <laughs> oh, Witcher! I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. Tell me, Aldona. How is it you and my dear Shani know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Over quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies or provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come. Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a new <laughs> Yeah, sorry, Apley. He's a little possessed right will now. Help her, will you not? That is between me and her. You needn't butt in. But I'm not. I merely ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. So I ask you, as your brother-in-law, will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent chap. I knew it from the start. We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a-wasting. Are you uh, 
expected elsewhere. Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps <laughs> you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, everybody, give me two seconds here. I just need to take a quick break. And thanks for holding on, everybody. My belt was jabbing me in the stomach, so I'd figure I'd get it sorted. Take part in wedding activities. All right, let's do it. Axe toss, axe toss, axe toss. Do you need help? Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a, a true fire eater. You know, whoosh, gulp, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers. We'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers as gone as last Yule's pudding. Broom's hand chased him off. That blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witch is here now. Perhaps he can aid us. <laughs> I shall find him. <laughs> yeah. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I, will find this swallower of heated things. Mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The Flame Gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you, and hope for the best. Awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witch of Bloody Mary. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. 
I believe you. Tally ho, adventure <laughs> All right, so we could use our witcher senses. We gotta, we gotta track this dog. I can't remember where the dog's bed was. The hound tore its chain off the wall. Underfed, it seems. Or else the ash liquor really boiled the mutt's blood. Its bowl is chipped. Tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. A bone not so clean, I've only ever seen two like this. One in an anto, the other when I caught a hen after not eating for a week. A dog made these tracks true, but a small one. If judging by its house, demon is a hulk, but beggars can't choose their tracks. So I shall follow these. Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Uh oh Think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. How goes the search? No discoveries of note as yet, but I shan't give up. This witcher work suits me swimmingly. Is there anyone in this forsaken hole? Anyone at all? Missing man, missing nut. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. There is so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? It. Good boy. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse now. Now what have you done? Why have ever? You? Ruin my fun. Have it at the wedding. Climb Hello. down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always the, say. Uh, organic sugar? Any of it. Any of it. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. Are you serious? Well, I hope he's not polished off that yeah. bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Of course. Bottoms up. Well, hopefully everything shows up tomorrow. I didn't realize we were that low. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. Boar was fleeing a noun. And Boar, it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. Can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. This may be my only chance to ask. Your fire guzzling trickery. How does it work? Oh, they tossed me out the guild if I told. 
Except if I took you all as an apprentice. In half a year's time, you'd learn. I haven't half a year. Come, just between you and me. We've drunk together. We're practically so brothers. Drag you all yourself. You're no brother of mine. You dare toy with me this way? Very well. Refuse to tell me, and I shall leave you yeah. here as a morsel for any passing boars, bears, or bloodthirsty fawns. So choose wisely. This here's a soul. He's suppressing the arts. Out with it. I got, I got a special mixture I drink before every show. After that, I can eat fire, spit fire, do what I please. It don't burn nothing. Is that all? Where's the art in it? Any dribbling imbecile can smear his throat with a protective slurry. I've oh, just about enough of this. First they release the hounds, then come and steal my meat, and now insults. I'm done here. Goodbye. Didn't mean to offend the bloody charlatan. Do something. Now, you're gonna forget everything you've seen, said, and heard in the woods. Wouldn't a smack upside the head help the matter? Put the cheating coward back in his place. No need. You'll go back to the wedding and show everybody your tricks. Oh, your charlatan's tricks. Yes, sir. I'll do as you say. Coming or not? I'm coming. I'm coming. To the wedding, then. Perhaps I'll find some more interesting diversions there. Alright. Keep so calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. I don't even remember how to get back to the... shaped in your experience I've got weak eyes see besides i'm a fire eater not some damn naturalist indeed you are not master uh, i believe i failed to ask what do they call you david altersborough listen here master hattonsborough stay close and no harm will come to you i'll see to it your drunken fire spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound Missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. And Demon? What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some. Nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please. I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire. We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. <laughs> Oh now that's why I don't think he's gonna give back the body. Alright, now what are we gonna do? Uh, my first 
first Witcher contract. Done. Find or found, his ass saved. With us. I never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to oh, your Oh, set the clock back on me. Your elfin happiness. It's 6 p.m. now. Smile upon you, white wolf. Oh yeah, I got here at like 8 o'clock. I purposely did that. He reminds me of a lot of my friends, so I know to get there late so that it's better to go by the time they're Of all these flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. I believe the young man's mistaken me for another. Not at all. I like my women as I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well ripe. That's enough. Get going. Drunk around it. Would never come back to me. Start acting Demons normal. People are gonna know. Black as they paint him. Look, 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 look. Munchkins playing cards. <laughs> he said Munchkins playing cards. <laughs> Perhaps you'd care to sit down to some Gwent with us. Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, Midget. No need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true? You wouldn't have called him a midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Oh, Everything. Fuck this Gwent. A whole lot. I'm all in. I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. I hope I did not sneeze into the microphone. Really we play that the losers got to <laughs> got the the be fun before I it happened. Care. I, shan't lose. <laughs> I apologize if I did, though. 
Oh, I'm gonna get fucking tuned. I'm so bad at this. All cards, cards in my deck. Okay, that's what I need. So I can get rid of a couple of you. I know that for sure. All right, let's see if. Uh, Four fucking infantry, that's all we got, right? And then, all right, oh, scorch. All right. <coughs> Fuck. Good. It's a game, but it kind of plays like magic, just like on three tiers. Like, you got your front line, back line, and, and archers, but there's two games, so you kind of got to call it halfway through, figure out if you've got more points than him, pass, hope that he doesn't play another card, and bring your stronger cards into the next round. But, yeah, there's... If I, if I had a couple of good games and some... <laughs> Not a bunch of people watching me. <laughs> I could probably do a little better. <laughs> but we'll get to that. <laughs> I'll learn this somehow, people. It's not really pertaining to anything. Bless you. She's got a seven there. I've got six up front. Six in the back. So what I need to do without... I might have to play this guy. This girl. Um, okay, well I've got a I've got a pass because we gotta hold some cards for the next round. Again, everybody for tuning into Angry Core Deductions. My name is Dan. Uh, I got drunk and I'm playing some Gwent as I am possessed by the ghost of the gentleman whose head I almost chopped off. If that catches everybody up, so uh, hopefully everybody is having a great day. Uh, thanks again for tuning into Angry Corgi Productions. Myself and Lady Dragon appreciate it immensely. What does this guy do? I just want to read the card. Uh, those from the letters are all others from the other shop. Okay, so I'll probably have to play that guy last. I don't have any trebuchets. This one, I can look at this one. still got two cards from your deck. Me. Oh, that's a dick. Alright, oh, whatever. Let's... <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, now I'm left with nothing. <laughs> this is not gonna end well. What has he got? Fuck. That's a nice card. It's not a wedding game, it's just a card game, but oh, it's like anything else. Ah, uh, well, whatever. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me anyways, it doesn't matter. At least I've got the concept, I've just gotta be better at it. <clears throat> Thank everybody for tuning in to Angry Corgi Productions. Over the wager. Everything. Um, perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Oh, weaseling out for this. And over the coin. What do we do now? Feel good losing somebody else's coin? I meant to win. Give you the coin. I've no need for it in the grave. But you lost, so now I've got to pay up. I say, he talking to himself. Roaring drunk already, that's it. We can't fleece a drunk. Have him done the cup and we'll call it even. Just a minute. Bloke needs a lesson. I say he dons the cup and gives us 5% of the coin he has. Hear that? Agreed. 5% is yours and I shall wear the cap. Never fear. A man must do what a man must do. And Vladimir von Everek's a man among men. Hear that? So sloshed he thinks he's Vladimir von Everek. Rogue's long dead, by my reckoning. Exactly. <laughs> Those ears. You look, uh, interesting. Time to drink. We are at a wedding. Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue. Guys, putting in some work. I'll give it to him. <clears throat> Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and Hey Solitar, thanks for the lurk. The barn down. <laughs> faster, faster <laughs> till we expire. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Hello. <laughs> and now, a special treat for our special guests. The Witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner, Shan. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani, it's time you discovered my romantic side. Sorry, everybody. A lot of complications with Walmart today. All right. Not a man here who could outdance me. It's a gift. My legs are preternaturally skilled. 
never expected the members of Algeard's band to have a taste for dancing. Yet it's so. We dance and dance at every opportunity, as fond of fun as fighting, our motto. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner. Um, not sure I do. Oh, what are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I have my mind, my heart, for you. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you should keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just... Next time, don't lunge at me like that. I've had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time, I shall ask. Shami. May I kiss you? <laughs> You're incorrigible. Yes. Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? <clears throat> what for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a dream. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. <laughs> right. I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Well, I probably wouldn't have forced myself on you. Forced myself? It was an innocent kiss, not more. I don't know if I should thank you or if that should make me angry. Oh, don't get me wrong. I've thought about doing just that a few times, but... But what? But I'm not going to talk about it with him here. We can discuss it once he's gone. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Whoa! Hold there, mate! You said you weren't interested back in the crypt. Now suddenly, after I beat the cream all night, you swoop in to dip your berry! And aim to delight in it without me present! <laughs> Shut up. What's going on now? Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> Happened to see the man who announced our soul. Yes, he acted as though he knew me, but we've never met. I'm surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing oh, here. Oh, this guy. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah. He didn't show up without a reason. I need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. I miss you this much. He never does anything simply. But certainly not on a whim. Bah! I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. Is there a pig catch? <laughs> what do I got to do here? What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds <laughs> and win the prize that comes with it for their winch. Um, lady. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. 
All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. King of the swine herds, eh? And what's this king get exactly? A king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honor's the prize. King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the swine herds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain! Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself! Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored! A witcher with ass ears chasing swine. <laughs> Better than a goddamn circus. What's that you say, peasant? Me? Uh, nothing. Good. Keep it that way. Get that cripple out of there! Could chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig <laughs> into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Alright, so let's drive the pigs into the pen. Shame there's no painter here. It's a moment worth immortalizing. Go into the pen. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come on, piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. Which pen am I going to? Yeah, I know. I'm trying to. I just don't know. I'm guessing any one of these pens will do. Yeah. What? Go. Go in the pen, my friend. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, hang on here. I gotta think about this. Apparently, I can't hypnotize it. Doesn't do much. There we go. That's one. You see that, Shiny? Can I just fucking push him in there? Yeah, go, 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 go. Where are you going? No. Let's go, let's go. Oh. Hard to wrangle this guy. Go in your pen. Can I pick him up? That would be so much easier. All right, fuck it. Who else is gonna run in that pen? One of you guys. This guy looks, he looks motivated. Let's go, come on. Oh, you're back now? I feel like I'd have less trouble in real life. <laughs> yeah. There you guys, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hiya, hiya. Let's go, pig, pig. Let's go, pig, pig. Let's go, pig, pig. Let's go, pig, pig. Come on. Fuck you. Go to pen. Go to pen. I really hope that this is entertaining people. I haven't lost any viewers, but I sure should have gained any. <laughs> yeah, you know. Right, come on, guys. Why do we gotta be so difficult? I don't know what else to do to scare you. Like, if that doesn't make you run into a pen, I don't know what will. 
go. Fuck. Let's go in the pen. Oh, I don't think I need a shield. That ain't gonna do much. Is there like a magic pig that'll go in here? Or am I just pushing the wrong pig? Come on, go in the fucking thing! This is, I don't know why this is so difficult. Alright, let's go. Everybody move, everybody move. One of you guys is gonna go in there. Alright, let's go. Come on, that's in. He's crossed the line. He crossed the line. I don't know, and I, that's why I was working on that one. I wasn't sure if that's who I got to get in here. So that's why I'm wondering if I've got to, you know, keep kicking him in the head until he goes that way. Let's go to bed, buddy. Come on, let's go. Come here, pig, pig, pig. Come on, let's go. Yeah, that's because I keep hypnotizing them. I'm trying to get them to... Oh, maybe he's following me. Yeah, that's because I used my thingy. Oh, he'll follow me. That's way easier than pushing them. Hi, buddy. Go to bed. Do I have treats? I have no treats. Oh, you foolish peasants. Learned a lesson from your better? Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Whoa, Master Witcher. What were the trickery back there? The fancy finger twisted. I know. Seen that afore. Witcher told a lad to go hang himself, drew some flowers in the air with his hand, and the man lost his mind. Meaning you cheated and shan't be crowned king of the swineherds. Shani, what is it Geralt says in these situations? Damn it. <laughs> yes, that's it. Damn it. Now for what I say. Go shove rakes up your asses, you peasant curs. Do I look Oh, I could have done that a lot like easier. A Can't really Come blame it Johnny. on them. I've had enough of these hazy. Should have figured out that they were they weren't gonna have me cheating. Forgive me, Shawnee. I've let you down. Are you worried about that pig? Oh, you needn't be. We're here as a couple. I wanted to win you that... that thing. Really? It's unimportant. Nothing at all. Mm, tell me, Shani. What's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl. That's clear. I woo and woo, yet you do not succumb. So I can't help but wonder, what am I doing wrong? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. Did it hurt terribly, my sweet? What? When you fell from the heavens. <laughs> Why, sir? <laughs> Shh, my dear. That's how I got Lady Dragon. No more words. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. 
Salons? Really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? And how... <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Leslie, step away from the barn. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers. And we oh, sleep to our down is dying got day. Some we keep those of your ilk far from her. You shan't keep me from anything, filthy hayseed. Lads? Mutants calling us names. Stand down, swine herds, or Lord Witcher will give you a bloody mind. Yeah, drumming. sometimes I just have to show up. Where's a plowing fence board when you need it? Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Ding ding. I really don't feel like I should be fighting. Boards, the perfect weapon for sweaty ass swine hearts. Perfect fit for ya. Yo, oh, I'm gonna kill. Plowy, gentle folk. Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shave? I don't know if it's a true wedding without a fight in the pig pen. Seems very un-Canadian. Witcher, away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jacket yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh, all right. Your methods... Quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. A hazard of the trade, my love. I'm clearly a bit out of practice. But point out the next young miss, and I will gladly prove I... You've proven everything, Amelie. Let's just have fun, all right? After all, you haven't much time left. <sighs> Fine. I suppose you're right. Come, then. Two more hours, so good to shake the kings from oh, and this is over. So let's see what else we, we can do without more, getting into a fight. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning into Angry Corgi Productions. My name is Dan. We are joined Found by Lady Dragon. Perch from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? And oh, we are here wooing ladies church. at a so wedding while possessing a girl. Fire burns hotter in an old stove. Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. It is a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh look, dearie, I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We'll poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. Thanks for the lurk, What's Joey Shadow. This, <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? 
Maid tosses a shoe in the water. The man's got to dive in and fish it out. Look, mutations don't just turn them barren as a mule, they give them an ass's ears to boot. <laughs> Must have some other horse part hidden in his trousers. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid will be pleased as bunch, or it means you're a gallant bow, and all for Andy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the missing question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. Oh my. Oh, there's more to come. Game. Shawnee, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Uh, her boot's gonna be all wet now. Observe, Shawnee. My eyes are blue. Seems to think it's sitting up easy, don't it? Ooh, there's a couple slippers here. Just when you think you know all the Plowfolk's customs, they surprise you with slippers. So, now the shark's faded, perhaps you could stop talking and fish out my shoe, which I so unfortunately lost in the pond. Did I not get hers? that pond sank in up to my armpits uh, I see no amount of silk could keep you from my shoe and all the other shoes over tossed in the lake always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret oh, that's quite the theory one founded in practice for instance I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over to don it of course Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Ooh. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm hmm Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is on. Uh, thank you. Little moist, little moist. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else, something wild. Well, they were gonna run into the garden. Yeah, just a. Uh, uh. A little bit muggy. Look there, Shani. The ladder begs us to scamper to its top, where we can converse. Uh, how so? Just like that. There aren't that many ways to scale a ladder. You must have a splendid time. That's what matters. Make the most out of it. But I'm supposed to be here, I'm supposed to be downstairs. Gingerbread 
eggs and out but flour, honey eggs and spices. I beg to differ. You omit the most important ingredient in ginger. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time. You touch it. Let you sniff it. Stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Except for Shawnee. Ooh. Greetings, Shawnee. I must uh, she's a little moist myself. too. She's, she's just lying. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. You seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Right? Is that right. so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother. That you envied all gear from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like me. Wait, you can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning... I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more, and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but... Let's be honest. Nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. I came here to revel, enjoy myself, not to discuss my brother. I don't want to get into a fight with this dude. That's good. Olgier probably wouldn't want me to talk to you about him. Olgier was my brother and my friend. Never have there been more loyal comrades than us. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me. Cornered me like a rat. But Olgier told everyone I flew at all five. Took them on, all at once. Alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgier visits my grave. Often. Pours a drink for me. Gets soused himself. And talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. Time oh, all right. I'm myself a coffee here. It's my best mate. Two seconds, everybody. Ladies 
Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. Geralt, there's no need. So be it. If there's no demand, I shan't supply. But it would have been a beautiful speech. It's almost wow. midnight. Time for the cafe. You're a bridesmaid, Shami. Take your place. The midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jestily or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple, then give them a few weeks, and we'll toast the lovely band with each hand on each cheeks. Don't you mind us song, we all sing to be kind. We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Hey! I could best be there. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh jeez, I'm getting attacked by corgis and puppies. Okay, boys, you come up. <laughs> Your corgis having trouble. All right, Frank, let's go. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, let's lay down. Mr. Kane, let's lay down. Let's play some video games, boys. Just writing it in his own blood. That really necessary? It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. Please. You're a good chap, Witcher. Those dirt, but good. Lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't. I'm not finished here. It's past midnight. You can take off those lovely ears. Only if you want to, of course. Lovely as they are, I think I'll put them away for now. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see, she asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. Thanks for the lurk. That kiss as Everyone. we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I received one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. Well, I'm gonna I'm touch glad. you and then I touch you and then you don't want me to touch you. What else do you want from me? I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. Yeah, you're a no, doggo. it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? One of your What's son's Garrett friends is here. That? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. I expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me. Your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't 
torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> He's just fucking him up. What is this? What did you do to him? Sent him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see. So... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. You go right on. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens, I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Working at everybody. Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. He's kind of a douche. Don't like him. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade. Follow his path. As for me, well... Perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Chinese character and general sign let you up. Alright, so let's go down to characters. Spirits. A sip of something strong never hurt anyone. The question is, will the chair up? Hey, thanks for following Waka Waka. Good idea. Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. Let's take a look. So characters are going to go all the way down. Alright, so what is that? I think this here shot is not bored by the company of Vladimir who was shattered with pressures yet. When the hour came for him to return, spend some time with Geralt. But yeah, but if she doesn't. Dash, Oh, 
not seeing anything that's supposed to jump off the page here, so I have a feeling this might be a trial and error kind of deal. But let's uh, take a look at the third spot. Let's see what we got over there. And she used to weave the berries into necklaces. Pretty, I guess. Thing is, will it cheer her up? Fine, I'll pick some. Becoming quite the romantic. Well, fingers crossed, everybody. Ooh. Still here? Thought you had to meet Olgird. You and I see each other so rarely. Figured Olgird could wait till morning. <coughs> Smile, there you shiny. go, buddy. You remembered I liked the Rowan. Remember a lot of things about you. Wedding's still in full swing, but your face. Let's say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just. After I caught the garland, I realized something. The years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. All alone. You got me. For how long? A day? Two? Don't get me wrong. It's nice, but you come and go. Yet I need someone who'll be there every night when I come home. After a day of bandaging wounds and sewing up guts, I need a good glass and a good laugh with someone who'll help me forget it all for a moment. I get it. And yeah, I could never be there for you every day. But I am happy to see you always. And today... I'm all yours. Well, in that case, let's drink to tonight. To tonight. May the moment last. I'm afraid the drink's gotten to our minstrels. Horribly off key. <laughs> let's go for a walk. Good idea. Did you enjoy the wedding? Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost. His <laughs> puppet. Great. Gotta admit, though, thanks Only to him, had I could experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods, or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <laughs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. <sighs> Vizima, you mean? Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. That was background. What I remember most, the mood, the feelings, the people I met, and those I met for the second time in my life. You're right. I was up to my elbow. Just making work, a coffee. Give me two seconds, everybody. Time. They're nice memories. For me, too. Do I have to kiss her? I'm missing this. You needn't oh, no, worry okay. about our finances, sir. My workshop, his business is booming. Good. I'm relieved to hear it. See, coins tied to torrent. But don't tell the old Batlax. She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Us menfolk need to stick together. Sir. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm Vassy. You can call me Dar. Oh, thank you, Dar. I feel honoured. Let's drink on it. Seems the families are bonding. 
A bride's father and his son-in-law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. Mean the differences in wealth? Mm-hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Everybody, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau. Even if I insisted I loved him, had chosen him. Choice, hang on. I'm in the kitchen making something. Give me a sec. Alright, so unfit, what does that mean? You'd convince her. Doubt your mother's that unbending. You'd win her over, I'm sure. I haven't managed to yet. <laughs> you only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Uh, I guess not, but it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the academy. But I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the academy to find a husband. They go to learn, pursue their passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. Look, the brave brothers. Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in that condition. Well, if they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. I wasn't in the mood. Would have resisted, tried to regain control. I think you would have seized the opportunity. I don't need opportunities like that. Oh, changed your style. Let's say I've grown choosy. You say that as if you've already picked. Because I have. Guess who? Gorgeous. Been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips, with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without. Hey, young there. Raphael. Day's been pretty that good, man. So, just grinding her out, grinding her out. Getting closer to our goal. How are you doing? Only one way to find out. Fucking witchers done? making all the right moves, can't complain. Definitely rather kiss you alone, of my own free will. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so openly, in fact. All true. He was very direct, I'll give him that. <laughs> Which, on occasion, has but its advantages. You're right. It's okay, Witcher was possessed of most time. of the afternoon so by, how do you stand by a recovering there? dirt bag, so you, Have some time it's, been quite, it's, it's been quite a good afternoon here in the game. Promised you this night. Aim to keep my word. And I aim to be direct. Even more so than Vladimir. Sounds mm. interesting. Interesting is what interesting does. Hey, I didn't even notice. Thank you to my 150 followers for following us over here at Angry Corgi Productions. Myself and Lady Dragon can't thank you guys enough. How did you know? I'm clairvoyant.
practically full. Be ashamed to let it go to waste. Besides, we leave it here, a very drunk person could find it, drink themselves into even more trouble. And I swore a solemn oath. First of all, do no harm. Roll me to the moon. Gotta fly to get to the moon. <laughs> You're dead wrong. <laughs> Look, it's right there, in the middle of the lake. <laughs> Fuck, is something gonna grab her and reach her in? That would really kill this moment right now. What are you doing? Fucking sea hag. What one usually does on the moon. Do it. Yeah, boy. You go get some. Geralt of Rivia, you dog, you. Fuck, I'm surprised they can keep the boat up. Like, if me and Lady Dragon did this, we'd be in the fucking water about five minutes ago. <laughs> Yeah, just drowning, still trying to make it work. <laughs> You'd look really sexy with a life preserver, though, babe. <sighs> no problem. Make Witcher babies! Gained 27 new scars since we last saw each other. Keeping count? Mm hmm. <laughs> I do that sometimes. That's when you know they love you. Did we make it to the moon? Forgotten already? No. Not the sort of thing you forget. Exactly. Sound like you wish you could. No. I certainly won't forget that. And I definitely don't regret it. But I do need to sort it all out in my head. Alone. Course, you're always gone. I miss Shani, you. Wait, but before you go, I gotta go do this by need myself. To ask you a favor. Yes, it's about Olgird. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story is more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something. Sure, be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes, see you later, Geralt. All right, everybody, give me two seconds. I just got to let the dog in and uh, quickly hit the bathroom. I will be back in roughly two minutes.
All right, we'll get back to it here right away. Yeah, thanks again, everybody who has been supporting us. We should be getting pretty close to our average of three viewers per live stream. Uh, I'll be on for at least another hour here, and then I should probably cook some dinner and eat. But uh, either way, thanks everybody who has been tuning into Angry Corgi Productions. My name is Dan. We have Lady Dragon on the in the chat, and we thank everybody for tuning in. So I should probably do some leveling up. I've been putting it off for a bit just in case I need to use some somewhere else. But uh, I think we can safely say... Actually, hang on here. Can I... I don't know if I can make the mutagens here. I think i got to go to a guy. i got to get the guy to do the thing. I'm still going to make a northern wind bomb. Ah, uh, Dragon Stream. This is Cloud of Gas Explodes when ignited. Hey, buddy. Detonated. Sorry, everybody. I know this is <laughs> always fun to watch everybody leveling up their shit. But uh, bear with me here. I shouldn't have too much more to go. I think there's really anything that. Shouldn't have too much. I'll get these oils enhanced here. So I gotta deal with right now. Map, we got quests. Farm, Oligard, the task has been completed. I didn't really get in my house though, like. Oh yeah, I gotta do my upgrades here. <coughs> and let's see what we got. Alright, so we got some mutagens. I don't think there's anything fucking crazy here. Uh, so what are these? 50 vitality. Attack power to 10. Yeah, it's nothing. Nothing I don't already have over here. So let's just look at... Let's just look at another trait we might be able to get. So right now I am rocking Melt Armor. 
should be current zone increase 10 seconds. That is Yarden. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade Quen. Because I have been using that a lot more than uh, what I got here. Yarden, Melt Armor, Delusion. Okay, I can need all those. Uh, delusion I can bring up to three. Shield because I never should have block in the past. So, Alright. Alchemy, what can I do here? So, heightened tolerance, I definitely need that. Acquired tolerance, not everyone. Okay, that's good. Tissue mutagen. So when consumed the mutagen deconcoction it keeps the maximum vitality of two hundred for the deconcoction. Pyrotechnics protective coating I like. Let's work on some general stuff here. Steady shot. Not really using my crossbow. Rage management adrenaline. I do need to maintain some toxicity levels here. What else do I got here? Precise lightning attack, critical hit by 2%. Precise lightning attack, chance, crushing blows. Yeah, that looks good. And I am going to keep one handy just in case I do wind up needing it. But uh, one we can do is we are going to let's put lightning reflexes I don't have that guy queued up anywhere uh, let's see what else we got here let's get this is what protective coating frenzy what do I got in there now I got acquired tolerance yeah I definitely knew no, that is not what I wanted to do. But doesn't really hurt anything. Heightened tolerance. Okay. All right, let's bogey. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning into Angry Corgi Productions. My name is Dan. This is Couch Cam. I am joined here by Remington and Mr. Kane. And we are playing The Witcher 3 as we grind through to our goal of being affiliated. So all we need left, I think uh, when we started today, we needed 0.4 average viewers per live stream to bring our 2.6 up to 3. And we want to thank everybody who has been tuning in for the last few weeks. And all of you, new and old, thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the uh, continued following. We very, very, very much appreciate it. So let's take a look at some shit here. So we've got a couple things we got to do. But we're going to get that guy done. So what is my play? Should be a fast travel around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So we'll get down to the fast travel. You know. Go, go down by the liquor mart. Can I get in here or is this going to be closed off? Yeah, these people don't Faster. like me anymore. Alright, so we'll go. I'm going to have to go this way. I'm going to have to take a long way around. Oh, door's open. Not that long of a way around. I lied. Oh, I don't think it's going to matter. I don't like that the doors don't open unless I have to like physically be here and open them. So let's do this road. Yep. Yep, now I can take you through. Alright. And I'm just gonna stop here. We got some stuff up on the board. Got that. Alright. 
Now we are going to go down. We'll go to uh, Oxenford. Hopefully everybody's having a good Tuesday and or Wednesday, depending where you are on the planet. Uh, here in Manitoba, uh, we have 50k winds with a bunch of blowing snow from a storm we had earlier. So we're in the house. We're playing Witcher 3. We thank you guys for being awesome, joining us here, and thank you for supporting Angry Corgi Productions. To buddy there. Viva Radovic. Scrum before I lose my patience. This guy a house though. This way. No stranger to the bottle, eh? What are they doing? Can you feed the dogs? Overgrown wains, okay. you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh yes. Forgot which is hysteria. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Filled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Bersodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. Make sure while I'm here, let's see if I have anything here I need. Oh, I remember you. What'll it be? Mind if I have a look? I don't really think this guy's gonna buy anything. This is this is Yeah, this is what I was just equipped with. Should have more shit. Greetings again. So, 
You got a job for me, an interesting one. You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. Hmm? Huh? Oh, I just have to look a little barber. Or did it grow back already? Hey! Wait, Frank. Sorry, everybody, I didn't mean to scream into the microphone there. Here, Frank. Okay, so what do I need with Sushi to help me here? If anything, concierge, yeah. boots, boots, medium weight. Attitude, that's nice. Must be nice. What do I need for that? Dark steel implant. I've got to find a kind of classic armor. Whatever shit is medium or heavy, and I don't want it. Crafting components. Alright, so we need here. Cured leather, I can probably use it. Dark iron plates. Bingo. I'm not doing too bad right now as far as uh, all what You're I've got equipped. I actually so do I'll have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Go through Mark it. Words, we'll solve some shit. I should have stashed some shit, but I didn't think of it at the time. Alright, we just need to repair. Repair what I got equipped. Another high gain. I guess I could have sold some shit. Yeah, alright, hang on, let me go back to this guy and sell some shit. Sorry everybody, I'm trying to get my life together here on this afternoon at Angry Gorgie Productions. Greetings again. So, you got a job. Show me what you have in stock. Thank you. 
So long. Excuse me, everybody. Wearing gloves, so that would help. Yeah, it ain't worth it, so I might just stash that. And we'll go find a stash spot somewhere. Hopefully close. But unlikely. He's right there. Uh, Alright. What else can I get rid of here? I can sell that. I don't really need it. I should have stashed it. I will Sorry, everybody. It my ways, yeah. And back to the Witcher. Thanks again, everybody, who has been supporting us here. We very much appreciate it as we try to get to our goal of affiliate status Best with Twitch. And we are, uh, we were at 2.6 as an average for viewers. We're looking to get up to 3. So we are on the precipice of it. So we thank you all for joining, following, following, and doing everything else you do. And just being awesome. This the Brasodi Brothers Auction House? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing <laughs> with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi? Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. The afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX. Hey, thanks for following Bachman, Twitcher. Corporal Vatslav. Stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind okay, you down, of the penalty for insulting you look in my hand every time I put it down. Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I... Hope. But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders. Up. I don't need, your need I take this place. up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No, stand to attention and shut your giggy. Oh, the lads will be rolling back in the barracks. Sort it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Appreciate it, Bogman. Appreciate the help. Just night. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Nice little Business fella. Business with you is a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah yeah. ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's oh, about to start. Time we went upstairs. Oh, was that the wind? I thought that was another tractor clearing the street. Oh. She's a little blustery. Not sure how good of a fun of a time stuff's gonna have to be. Yeah. He could be shoveling Actually, snow. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, 
Might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, a little I keep his soul. But, Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Okay, good. Okay. Upper floor of the auction house. And another pearl with topaz inside. Right. Where is this little tiny man going? He keeps walking in circles. Geralt, you thought of buying real estate? Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri? Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corner's Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing quiet. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Oh, friends. Smell it, Geralt. That's the center coil. Welcome. Greetings. Did I meet them? Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin. What now? <coughs> All manner of objects related to the witchery <coughs> profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations. Dating from my oh so distant youth. Did you say such things, Countess? Hey, appreciate you, you stopping back, uh, stopping by, back in Twitter. Kind, Master Vivol. Appreciate the follow as but well. Thank you. Apart from my I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece. What would it be? An armor element, an antique, School of the Wolf, from 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento, one of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with, or acquire. Well, I do uh, need a she couple of swords and a couple I'd of charge five percent, a modest of armor. Uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Let's see what she got here. Oh, Viper armor. Oh, fuck yeah. Vipers? Vipers, babe. Vipers. For three bills, I can't afford not to do it. She's gonna buy anything from me. Thanks for refreshing, Lupine. We appreciate you stopping by. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horsebore Sodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what he... <laughs> no, he does not have a shrunken no. head, David. Oh, you know what he's like. Might just be flat. He might have got dropped a couple times as a kid. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help oh. a lady. Oh, I didn't even notice him. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, the it's fucking quite hat. Trifle. Looks like he's got a broken nose. I stepped though. out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. 
Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. Also, then the floorboards are an option. Upper J egg, white gold and mother of pearl with topaz insects. So I beg your pardon. Madame view well, dress if hardly soon. <laughs> this one probably also belonged to sorceress. Fetish, maybe. Two thousand crowns. Perhaps free. Beautiful. The first blow would shatter them. That's right. I'm here. Not sure where. I thought she said it fell through the floor, but it's boards. I might be wrong. Codex Redaniensis. Sole surviving copy. I don't see anything. Just again. That made me just stir around here. Abage egg, white gold, and mother of pearl hey. with topaz insects sold to Madame Vilper. Dress of harky silk trim with this. Your grey mane really does suit me. I don't know, and I don't wish to. Arms! Vivaldi, perusing the room for any and all. Been years. Gosh. Allow me to introduce you. Get and there goes my here. enchanted Pleasure's tea string right. into my How's it? teacup. Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right. Excuse me. Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, isn't it? Come on, admit it. Seen right through me. Ha! I knowed it. You don't look like one who easily agrees to a draw. You ought to know, Helbert. Geralt here's a positively superb player. Superb. Hmm. Not Got a all. minute before the auction starts. Not so at all. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe I around. Find... Fuck! I gotta find. Ah! Oh, why did I do that? I can't back out now. Hmm. Fuck. Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. What is it? Well, mate, since I brought yous together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings. If they're mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty good. One cardinal. Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for wants ten percent of my winnings, but. He doesn't realize I'm not gonna winnings. <laughs> All right, game on. Ten percent is zero, bud. <laughs> All right. All right, Vominos. <clears throat> Fuck, he's gonna beat me with 20 cards, too.
everything else up. So what do I need here to beat him? So I need three to tie. He's still gonna win by two. I can take that in the back. Which is kinda gonna fuck me over later. But I should win this round. Now, oh, good cow, bring me a nice card, a very nice cow. All right, so now I gotta, gotta go tits out and fucking have that right now. Dick, dick, at least I didn't play that card. This is the most complicated way to walk. Yep, I'm gonna yeah. go this way. Fuck it. Alright, well, seems like you're a dick and you scorched all my people. I'm gonna scorch your guy. <clears throat> yep. Alright, alright. Not at all bad, but it ain't enough to outplay me. That's so. How about a rematch? Apologies, mate, but I only ever play any bloke once. Var file, as them pointy ears say. Oh, hard luck, Geralt. Your cards, though. You find them in the crapper. Didn't they line up, did they? Ooh. Okay, so looking for your. Spilled wine, nothing else. <clears throat> There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me, I. God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he? If Dead. you don't mind my asking. Died last week. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me, did he at least die like a witcher? Oh yeah. No. He died like a champ? He died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit mad woman so elegantly. <coughs> please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now... Be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. <clears throat> I 
money. I beg your pardon. Climb it, declared. Hello. Hey. Ring on it. Shite. Yaramir, might we trouble you a wee spell? Mm hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. About the paintings on the block today. Mm -hmm. Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Hot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. Oh, that's true. See if my dough is Yet there. first, they delight my eyes. Whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Noob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem. So do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward Van der Noob, the master from Maribor. <coughs> So Witcher, that you should be quizzes. So do tell Witcher of these the heavy arc. I don't know. Yeah, well. I can't Witcher mm -hmm. sense it. Gotta admit, haven't the foggiest. You needn't have said it. Your crude-looking mug, as you put it, radiates ignorance. I bid you adieu. Oh, watch, they were all from that fucking artist. What a jackass. Yeah, fuck him. Typical aristocunt. I've grown accustomed. Aristocunt, I like that. <laughs> I feel that's apt. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen. Right, so the auction, the will auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah. Long last. Come with me to the fort. I won't see much elseways. Vimy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be an intermission. Horse Posodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ah! Knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. I don't Rumor understand how the these kids are going to graduate on time. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. What Do I hear to? 200? Why are you looking your lips? Might I have an advance? Oh, you ate something. The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have <coughs> 250? 200 once, <coughs> twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignot bids 250. Do I hear 300? I don't know what I'm bidding on yet, Countess Mignot. My, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice and sold to the white haired oh, fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. 
Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roo. Starry night over the pond. Thank you, Miley. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns. It's practically naught. Good folk. Is no one tempted? Atypical in style, true, but worthy of the vestibule, surely. Do I hear ten crowns? A mere ten. Ah, at last, a buyer. Ten crowns, once, twice, and going thrice. <laughs> Lot number two, starry night over the Pontal, sold to Master Yaramin. <laughs> Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacle. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters, once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Mm -hmm. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice, Brilliant! With the gentleman with the white hair now at 350. What? I didn't. 350 what? 350 twice? And three, four! 400 now with Countess Mignol. Any advance on that? Going once, twice, thrice, and sold! The professor's spectacles go to the Countess. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Geralt, look! Horse to Sudi! Come on, before some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. <laughs> Greetings, horse. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who comes uninvited. Exactly. Pretty serious oversight. I see no reason why the faux pas should taint our newfound acquaintance. Acquaintance? I honestly don't know what you think this is, Vagrant. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Okay, Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one <coughs> like you want from one like me? Right. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it. Whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen! No reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? From Olgierd von Everek. Name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Swords, master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after <clears throat> we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm -hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Let's dance. <laughs> Mm. 
Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. <sighs> Law doesn't say how fast, though. So you can, can you sit tight a while. Let's go. Cool. Seems really true cool. what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gold. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If Bruce all man. goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Bosodi's house alone. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the option. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Okay, if I get to the point, down, you don't have if food. you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way horse Hey, you thanks for lurking, Mally. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Go on the others. Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. He'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. <laughs> All right, any, everybody, this is as good a stop as, or a place as any to stop for a little bit here. Well, probably for the night. Um, if I get the motivation, I'll be back on. But I want to thank everybody for tuning in this afternoon. Uh, watch me play The Witcher for four hours. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, from myself, Lady Draggy, Lady Dragon. <laughs> holy fuck, am I tired? Lady Dragon, Frank, Kane the Great, Remy. Have a great evening. Thank you so much, everybody. Fucking lady dragon.